Oh, you guys are here already. Sorry about that. Acha, do you also say thank you and please to ChatGPT? I mean, I do all the time, and I know many others do as well. I mean, basic politeness, right? But every time we say please or thank you to ChatGPT, we are not just being polite. We are spending Sam Altman's money literally. The OpenAI CEO just revealed that users being too nice, too polite to their AI chatbot is costing the company tens of millions of dollars in electricity bills. And no, he's not making this up, not joking. So let's talk about how politeness became the most expensive virtue on the internet. So let's tell you why and how it happens. See, every extra word that we type on a platform like say ChatGPT, every how are you today or every thank you to a response, ChatGPT processes that with a giant neural net. And those giant models, they don't run on kindness. They run on electricity. According to studies, generating a 100-word email with AI consumes enough power to light 14 LED bulbs for one whole hour. Now just multiply that by 800 million users worldwide. Get what we mean? Altman's please problem starts to look like a real one now. Now that brings us to a question. Do good manners actually matter to AI? You've seen that meme, right? There's a reason why we say thank you to ChatGPT. Who knows, in the future, when they start ruling over us, they might leave us alone because we said thank you. But of course, there's another argument that says AI doesn't care. But Microsoft's design manager, Curlis Beavers, says otherwise. Politeness actually helps generate collaborative responses. In other words, say nice things and AI becomes nicer. Almost like AI mirrors you. So if you speak with clarity, respect and say thoughtfulness, well then, ChatGPT responds in kind. It's not sentient anymore, but it's trained on the behavioral patterns of billions of humans. And that includes you, that includes me. But that brings us to the meme I was talking about. Surveys say that we could actually be scared. A 2024 survey found that 67% of Americans are polite to chatbots, 55% do it because it's the right thing to do, but 12% they are hedging bets in case of an AI uprising. Yup, the meme. So that's where respect meets survival instinct. Can't really blame them, can we? But what is the real cost here? It's energy, not ethics. The IEA recently reported that AI-driven data centers will consume as much electricity as the entirety of Japan just by 2030 itself. That's 945 terawatt hours. ChatGPT alone added a million users in one hour during the Ghibli mode frenzy. I mean, that's not just engagement, that's proper load. No wonder Sam Altman had said that during the Ghibli trend, their GPUs were melting. So yeah, politeness may be noble, but it's not carbon neutral. So does that mean we should stop being nice when we are talking to ChatGPT? Here's the dilemma. Sam Altman isn't asking you to stop being kind. He says the cost is well spent, but experts do warn. They say that we are heading into an AI world where every word has a wattage. So what's the right call? Do we encourage manners to train better AI or optimize for shorter prompts to cut energy costs? I mean, every energy impact on the GPU kind of harmfully affects the environment. So what could become the future of prompt culture? Maybe the real solution is in choosing one over the other. Maybe we need energy literate prompting, just like we say sort waste. Maybe we'll soon sort prompts as well. It'll become the time of efficient prompting, eco-conscious response, high wattage dialogue. So would you like to skip the small talk and save 0.01 kilowatt hour? Maybe it is the right thing to do. In the end, whether you're polite, out of habit, or say prepping for an upcoming AI apocalypse, just remember, every please or every thank you comes with a price tag. And as for Mr. Altman, he's picking up the tab. Let us know in the comments. My first question that I asked you, do you say thank you or please to chat GPD? And of course, another question, are you team manners or team minimal? For more real-time live updates from the entire world of tech and AI, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.